Daryl Mays leading this field to green 75 laps here at Michigan tonight and the green flag is out in the air Daryl Mays gets a decent jump but not good enough with Michael Boyles on the outside of him he is holding strong the 13 car now coming behind the 05 of Boyles maybe looking three wide not gonna happen into turn one Mays on the bottom he is holding strong trying to clear the 05 off a of turn two and he does shuts the door on the 05 coming down the back straight away as the mess continues behind him. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Now coming into turn one, Jackson Samsel almost gets into the wall. The 33 car now still to the outside of the 92 of Corey Harville. Coming off of turn two now. These guys are still going to be side by side. Drag racing it down the back straight away as Jackson Samsel grabs a little bit of wall there off of turn two. And it's not going to work out for him tonight. Down this back straight away as they go into turn three. The 92 car, Harville, overtaking Brops now. They're side by side here off of turn four. Barnett on the outside. I trying to make something happen here on the 05 of Boyles. They're going to continue side by side down the front stretch. Barnett's trying to go a little wider than the 05. The 05 is going to go under the apron here to try and hold on to this P2 position. We're going to go side by side again here in a turn one. Barnett on the outside trying to make something happen here. He's going to carry the momentum on the outside. Hanging on his door a little bit here. Off of turn two. We're still side by side. Barnett might be leaking ahead here off of turn two. Now coming down the back straightaway, a classic drag race ensues, and it's Barnett taking over that P2 position. Now off of turn four, the 13 gets up to the rear bumper of the 21. He's looking like he's going to make a move coming down the front straightaway, and he's there. He's underneath the 21 car. Maybe a possible change for the lead coming into turn one as we're still side by side. The 13 goes to the bottom, the 21 to the outside now, trying to change up the lines here, and it looks like the 13 car clears the 21 as he gets sideways off of turn two. He saves it. Incredible. Wow, what a save there by Mays, but now he's coming under attack by the 05 of Boyles. Boyles is going to take it to the inside. He might be able to clear him here off a of turn four as Babbler puts his nose in the bottom here. Babbler's trying to contest this position. And we're looking at maybe three wider off a of turn four. No, it, boy, it looks like Mays got a little tight there. It's now the 88 of Babbler's going to follow Boyles down on the inside line as Boyles has moved up to P2, Babbler to P3. And the battle is intense here for the lead of this race. As Barnett is your new leader here. And into turn one, these drivers will go. The 05 car now looking to the inside of the 13. He's going to try to make something happen here. On the apex now, the 05 is underneath the 13. Off of turn two, we're going to have a classic drag race down the back straightaway. Side by side for first place, Barnett coming under attack by Michael Boyles going into turn three. It looks like the 05 car is gonna stick to the middle lane, pushing the 13 car high, but the 13's gonna lean on the 05's rear quarter panel off of turn four, it's not gonna matter. Michael Boyles to the lead on lap 18. Three, this battle is actually heated up. Here comes the 13 to the inside of the 05. They're side by side through turns three and four. This is for the lead on green flag stops. These guys are just relentless. Coming down the front straight away across the start finish line still side by side now coming into turn one Oh, as we got a little bit of lap traffic here in a turn one. He gives them a ton of respect. We're going to remain side by side here. Oh, no, the attack is made. Barnett's oh, into the wall. That's the, the leader. That's the, the leader. 95. The 95's in it. Caution is out. The leaders have wrecked. The 05 on the outside of the 13. As you can see them going through turns one and two right now. 13 holding a pretty good line on the inside. Maybe just comes up a little bit there, making a little bit of contact with the 05. And, uh, yeah, the rest is history right there. And uh, there you go. Huge contact for the 13 car on the outside. A good amount of damage to the 05 there. As here comes the 95 making uh, his mark on the 13 as well, going through turns one and two. Wow, look at Bobler get a great run off of turn two. He got right up to the bumper of Boyles, but we're still side by side with Stewart in Harville. That's for P3. As they continue to duke it out here through three and four, is they're still side by side. Stewart's gonna hang it down on the bottom. Man, can Harville get enough of a run here off of turn four to be able to clear him here into turn one? He's got the light he wants. Is Harville, as the 91 of Stewart's gonna make the track as short as possible down here on the inside. We got 25 laps to go here into turn one. As it looks like Stewart's gonna clear Harville here in the middle of turns one and two.
Well, still side by side. Baumler just completely sent it into that corner. He's going to make it happen. He's going to clear the 05 of Boyles off of turn four. But here comes Harville. He's trying to put his nose in the front of this field. We're nose to tail the front two. Baumler's going to lead this lap. 15 laps to go here in Michigan. He has not led all night long. And here he is when the money laps are on the line here. Is the Boyles going to go back to the outside line? He's going to try to make something happen here. Off of turn two now as Baumler continues to lead. Wow, look at Seraph on the inside. He's already up to P4, looking maybe at an opportunity out of position. Oh, is he sideways? Oh, contact! He's sideways! He's going to save it! Go save all contact! He's going to stack him up in front of the field! Oh, big contact in the back! The 6 is involved! The 16! Oh, no! The white flag is in the air one more time around here for Michael Boyles as he's got a brewing field behind him. We got Adam Boyles at P2. Baumler side by side with Barnett here in a turn one. As, uh, Barnett's going to try driving an extremely deep and carry this momentum here off a of turn two. Does he clear the 88 here off a of turn two? He does! He's to the outside now. Can he make a move on the 22 to the inside of Mike Adam Boyles? We're going to go side by side down the back. Barnett and Boyles. Does Barnett have anything left? to come back at the 05 of Adam, or Michael Boyles. He's to the inside. He's going to clear the 22. But off of turn four. Here comes Barnett. He's going to close the gap. Is it going to be enough? We're going to have a drag race to the line. Here comes the 13 of Barnett to the inside drag race. It's going to be. Oh, it's so close to call. It's too close to call. Michael Boyles. My... But it was a tie! It was a tie! Unbelievable! It was one one the millionth of a second! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Michael, what are your thoughts on the finish of that race? I don't even know if I have... I mean, I don't even know if I can have thoughts on that. Like, we <laughs> instantly had to go back and look at that. Because, I mean, we didn't know... Like, it literally... It shows 0. 0.000. 000. <laughs> That's yeah. like... Well, I already told them we're all going to send it to iRacing and just see if they want to do anything about it. Yes, <laughs> like, yes. I just, God is so good. I didn't even know that was Tyler because I, Corey had a red scheme in, in like our session and I was thinking it was Corey the whole time. And I, so I, like I knew he was on the same tire, so I didn't expect him to go that fast. But then I realized it was Tyler and I'm fresh tires. So it, I knew I had to block, obviously. But uh, I just, I mean, I think... We're in shock right now. Uh, I'm in I mean, shock. that's just, I'm sure y'all, <laughs> like, went, I mean, with y'all's announcing ability, it, we, we had to go back in the stream to hear it, just to hear y'all's point of view of it. Yeah. Uh, wild. Uh, wild. <laughs> that, that's, about as, that's about as good as I can put it right there. Just wild. I've never seen it, anything like that. I haven't either. And, like, <laughs> God is so good. Like, it's just, man, I mean, that's just insane. Just insane. Yes, yes it is. It is insane. Now, but leading up to that, Michael, look, you, you had cars behind you on fresher tires than you pretty much all race long. You were able to hold them off and cap it off with a photo finish with you coming out on top. What were your thought processes going through all these cautions, everybody dipping down to pit road, getting fresh tires, you staying out because you have the lead of the race. Sometimes track position, especially here in Michigan, is it's a mm -hmm. big deal. You have to stay out sometimes to keep that track mm -hmm. position. But you saw everybody diving down a pit road, grabbing fresh tires. How worried were you that a situation like this could have happened, but just a, a I don't know, a toenail worse? <laughs> yeah, I, well, the crazy thing is the same thing happened, well, not 0. 0.000, but... I was doing a late model race yesterday and one of my, like this person that streams his races and there would be caution after caution after caution with me leading the race and I didn't go for tires or I got tires early. So I knew it was kind of messing with the tire wear and then everybody was getting better, better tires and we're getting bunched back up or like heating up tires, cooling the tires back down. I knew that was kind of messing with us and I got, I didn't get dumped in that race, but it was close. Uh, so I, I, like sometimes like you know just you can think about that and it can affect you a little bit but you know thank I didn't really think anybody behind me like was on like as fresh tires as me until I saw the number 13 car go to my inside <laughs> and then I knew there was somebody with, <laughs> with fresh tires and uh, but yeah that was I mean I didn't really think of 
all we really thought about was our tires heating up and cooling back down. And on restarts, my I wasn't very good uh, entering the corner or like entering the corner at that speed. So I would either swing it back, like swing across the tr- like high up in the track and cut down, and I really was losing speed. Um, but then in the final restart, I actually did it and gained speed, and that's like how close it actually was. I never expected it to be this close. So oh. just moving down that once to gain a little bit of speed caused this. Wow. So it's it, I I just it's crazy to me, and uh, like it's just. I'm blessed to even like have this even happen. So it, so it's, it's awesome. Yes. Yes. It is awesome. A great product that you put on track tonight. And uh, you know what? Congratulations on your win. Uh, Jay, that's all I got uh, for Michael here. Uh, What do you got for him? Um, I just want to say congratulations on this fantastic performance tonight. What an amazing finish that you provided. I'm still at a loss of words. I don't even know. That was one of the worst calls I ever did because I was just jawed to the floor. But congratulations. (laughs) Congratulations. Who do you have to thank for your performance tonight? First off, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, cannot do anything without him. He's blessed me with everything that I have. Um, My teammates at Impact Racing, um, you know, they really helped me. They even helped me on the track, if y'all didn't even notice it. But I was kind of working with Adam to get yeah. to his draft and try and shoot him up, and he was actually helping me too. Um, Martin Sports for sponsoring the race. We appreciate them. Um, and just Backmarkers Racing, you know, it, it's – we've I've done this league about three seasons, four seasons now, I think. Um, and it's been a blast. You know, we've had rough patches, but, like, now we're actually getting into that groove again of actual, you know, fun racing, having a ton of cars, good drivers, and, uh, you know, we're blessed to be a part of it. And thank y'all because y'all, I mean, y'all, to me, y'all are making the show so much more fun for us. <laughs> like, because it's so, much, it's so much more fun to actually go back and watch replays or watch broadcasts, but especially with y'all doing it, it just makes it so much better. So we appreciate y'all. And... Uh, Got to thank my family, too. Thank them, of course. They have blessed me with stuff, too, and just the life that I get to live. And it's just a blessing. So, yep.